Hey everybody, it's Brian. Today we'll be discussing enumerations with the switch statement. So what is an enumeration? Well, to find out, just type in the word enum and then give it a name and we will say animals and then do a start and end bracket and say birds, cats, dogs. Now an enumeration allows you to label values and say specific things. Now in memory this will be 0, 1, 2. But you don't want to say 0, 1, 2 because you have no idea what 0, 1, 2 means. You'd rather have a more descriptive label like birds, cats, dogs. Now take our, our enumeration and we're going to make a variable out of it. So animals m type equal and you're just going to select cats and that is how you say we have a variable of m type which is equal to animal.cats. Now notice how you're not saying equal new animals.cat. This is not a class, this is an enumeration. Now we're going to do a switch, do m type, do case, control space, and you have your enumerators right there. And you just say birds, and along with break. And we were going to say, hmm, let's see here, you like birds. Now you may have noticed in your copy and paste adventures you cannot have duplicate cases in a switch statement. You get this error right here, duplicate case. So just delete that. Select cats and dogs. So we have our very simple switch statement. We are switching on an enumeration called animals, and there's three possible types: birds, cats, dogs. We are setting our m type variable to cats, and let's run this and see what happens. Sure enough, you like cats. You can very easily go in and change this and say your dog person. Run it again. You like dogs. So that is a very quick and simple example of how to use an enumeration with a switch statement. Oh, before we go, one thing you should probably notice is this does not have an in bracket, even though it won't, doesn't really hurt it. And you do not put that inside of your main statement. And if you're wondering why, you can mouse over and see that the member and num animals cannot be local. It's kind of a funny rule about enumerators. Well, this is Brian. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.